Hey guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. Today I'm going to create a two page layout using Close to My Heart's exclusive paper collection, The Good Life. I love these colors together. I love this wood with this distressed mist color. I think this is so pretty. This reminds me of back home when we lived in Ohio and we lived on a farm and it just gives me that rustic country feel to it and I love this. So I am a close to my heart maker and all the supplies that I use, I will leave the item links in the description below and you can purchase them directly from my website. So this is the sticker sheet and I love these little words. Look at these words, I love these. So you, you and me gather together memories this day. You are my home, better together. I look at that, our story, I love that. And then you have these borders. So these are awesome. I'm super excited about these. And the, uh, Close to My Heart's paper is uh, double-sided. So they're also a very nice quality paper and all of them are double-sided and they all feature a Brandon strip or a zip strip. And on the back of that lists all the featured colors. So there's absolutely no guesswork. You'll know exactly what embellishments, what cardstock and what inks match this paper perfectly. And I really appreciate that. So you get two of each sheet. So the back of this one is that and I just think this windmill is really cool. I love this distressed weathered look. And then you have this uh, mocha colored polka dot and this fence rail along the top of that. And the back of that is the stripe that brings all those colors in together. And then you have this really cool Harbor Giger, Gigum print and I love this. I think this is super pretty. And then you have this nice distressed look and that is awesome. And look at those trucks up there. That is so cool. So let me show you real quick. So this paper is in the current September to October catalog. And there is some really cool artwork for you to look at in the catalog. And I just wanted to show you that you get this really cool, um, you can get this really cool die cut set. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna use this on this specific project, but I do plan on using these. And I really like this. It's like a, it's kind of like a really thin wood. So these are super fun. Look at that, amazing memories, you and me. These are really cool. And then there's a digital art collection. And I love that. So I did purchase that. Not sure I'm going to use it today, but I did purchase that. But then you have some fun stamps. So there's a card making stamp and the good life. And I, and I love this. I don't plan on using this today in this project, but I do plan on doing a layout with this. I have something already in mind of my son. And each paper collection has a workshop kit. Uh, this is the scrapbooking workshop kit, and you can do three uh, two page layout. So there's six pages in all. And I love that. So the workshop, the, the scrapbooking workshop comes with exclusive pieces. So there's these punch outs, they punch out real easy and you get some extra, um, sheets of paper, pattern paper. That's not in the, the regular collection and you get the memory protectors and your photo placement cards, and then some additional, um, little, uh, smaller pack of those, um, wood grain, um, embellishments. And then there's an exclusive card kit with exclusive metal dies. And I love that. And there's everything you need in the card kit to make 16, um, cards. So I just, and they all come with directions, the, the scrapbooking and the card making. So I just wanted to mention that in case you wanted to know everything that was in this collection. I'm working on two Versa mats and I always use these Versa mats. I absolutely love them. They help me keep everything lined up and I love that on the back of them is the perfect stamping platform so I can just flip it over and do my stamping and then flip my layout, my uh, mat back over. So I am bringing in two sheets of white daisy cardstock. Let me show you my photos. So these photos were professionally taken. So this is my daughter, Emily, who's actually 26 now, and she was five in this photo. And these are my three babies. 
I have seven children now, but this is what I had at the time. And I have uh, Emily, Colton, and Caleb. And Kay Colton was three here, and Caleb was a year old. And if you look at, I'll show you in a minute. So I just pull out some of these. I had these professionally done at, I think, Walmart. And so I pulled them out of my stash and I decided I wanted to scrapbook them. Look at this little bruise that he, well, this giant bruise he had on his head. He had literally just learned to pull himself up and right before the photos, what did he do? Bang. There you go. You know how that works, right? So big old black and blue for his photos, but he was always uh, a happy baby. And then here's my son, Colton, and I want to show you what I did. If you can see right here, you can see a little bit of Caleb's head. And what I did was this was an 8 by 10. And yes, I cut that out. These just sit in a folder or in an envelope underneath of my bed, and I have piles of these photos, and I've given lots and lots of them away. So I didn't have any of Colton that was just him, and I went ahead and did, um, I did myself and my son Caleb and myself and Emily, but I had done Colton like probably six months beforehand. So I went ahead and did these guys and not my photos with him. So I still wanted a photo of just him. So I literally measured and cut that out. And I know you're like, oh my goodness, you ruined your eight by 10. I did not. I have five by sevens. I have lots of the photos and they are there for me to put in my memory books and not leave underneath my bed in a folder. So if you're looking for a photo or you need one, that is an awesome tip. Just go ahead and cut it out. Don't be afraid to use it. You're using it. Um, you're going to pass these on to your kids when you're done. So what I was thinking was I would like this photo about here and I would like to bring these ones over here and this one probably actually like this. Okay. So let me show you. This is the stamp of the month. Thoughtful Tokens. I love this stamp. I think it is so pretty. And I want to bring this in and I'm going to do some random stamping with all of these in the background. I'm going to create like a, I'm going to create almost my own zip strip. And so I wanted you to know that you could get this stamp set absolutely free for the month of September um, by joining my VIP program. And that link is also in the description below. Of, uh, or you can get this for just $5 with a $50 order. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to bring in this pattern. And these are 10 and a half by 8 and 10 and a half by 6. And my thought is I want these, I'm going to leave about 3 fourths of an inch. And I'm going to put these like this. So I'm going to bring in two half of an inch strips by uh, 10 and a half. And this is the mist cardstock. And I'm not sure you can see this. You might get a better idea here. But all of Close to My Heart's cardstock is two-tone. So you have a true side and then a lighter side. And I really like that because it gives me a, a wide variety of colors. So I think I want to use this on the darker side. And I'm going to bring in that stamp set the stamp of the month that I just showed you. And I want to create this little um, strip here. I'm thinking that I want to, I'm gonna bring in the mist and I'm gonna bring in a block, but I wanna bring in this, um, this little like swirl looking thing and kind of run it down in the same color and create a pattern on that cardstock running all the way down, so. You should always go ahead and what we call is season them. Um, and that's just kind of get that manufacturer coating off of um, off of that surface. You can rub them on there. You can use your fingers. You can use the back of your arm. You know, whatever. Just go ahead and do that. And then I always like to get a scrap sheet of paper. And I just practice uh, a couple of times just to make sure I have a nice, crisp, clear image. So I'm going to open my... 
mist and ink that up. And then I brought in this white like scratch paper. Ah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so I am gonna stamp this on the dark side and not the light side. I, I like the way it looks with my photos a little better. So I am just going to hold that for a minute. Perfect, look how cool that is. I love it. So that is gonna be really pretty going down there. So I'm gonna continue that pattern. And I'll just, there we go. Perfect, I love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one for the other side off camera. So I went ahead and cut that mist wood grain pattern and I cut this one uh, three by the 10 and a half and this one one and a half by 10 and a half. And I wanna put those on the sides here. So I like that. And then I wanna do some stamping on this layout and on this pattern paper. I know it's so pretty and you're like, oh, you're gonna stamp it? Yes, I am definitely going to stamp it. And I'm probably gonna do some inking around the edges as well in uh, that mocha ink. But I was thinking that I would like to bring this in um, I'm definitely bringing this in and this in, but possibly this as well. But I really like this, and I want to bring this in somewhere over here. And I'm going to double stamp that because I want to, like, have this butterfly. I want to pop that up off of there. So, And I'll probably bring it in maybe over here and then maybe up here. So I'd like to bring that in three places. So, But before I do that, I want to bring in... Um, I went ahead and I cut, uh, I cut a mist circle and I want to use the dark side and then I cut a white daisy uh, circle and I'm going to put my title on here. So this is about an eighth of an inch uh, around, but I'm thinking that I want to put it here, but it's super big. I want to kind of tuck that underneath this main photo. So I am gonna bring it down maybe like this. So I wanna figure out where I wanna stamp uh, those, um, that image. And for my stamp, for my title right here, I wanna bring in um, Wished For You. So this is Cheerful Smiles, A Hug or Two, Happy Thoughts Are Wished For You. That's, I love that. Um, but to the world, you may be just one person, but to me, you are the world. And I love that. So I'm thinking that I, that is how I feel about all of my children. Um, I, they're all unique and I love them uh, in each of their own way. Um, they like to, you know, tease each other and say, you know, I'm the favorite, I'm the favorite, I'm the favorite. Um, and I just respond now, yes, you are. So it's just easier than saying no. So I just tell them all, yes, you are. Um, but I love them all, you know, uniquely. They all have different things about them that um, makes them who they are. So I'm thinking that I want this right here. And my thought about that is I like how, I like how this is darker. And so I'm gonna stamp this two-toned. Um, I think I'm gonna stamp this in um, the mocha color, and then I'm gonna restamp this banner in the mist just to give to make it pop up and to give this uh, a lot of detail. Um, and I might do something else to it too. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then I just fussy cut that out after I stamped it in that mist color. And then I'm just gonna kind of slide that in under here. So I do want to bring in, I want to bring this in 
and um, figure out where I want to stamp that. But I'm also thinking about bringing in, um, I like how this has the words right there and I want to bring some more of that in. And if I don't use this on the um, setting the scene, um, I, I love this. Um, I was thinking I could create like a journaling, um, my own journaling uh, card. And there's more words here, so I could always go ahead and kind of substitute there. And I, and I love that. So I might bring that in as well. Okay, I got that on a block. So before I stamp that, I want to bring in some more pattern paper. So I went ahead and cut, um, these are 12 by one and a half and I'm not going to keep them this length but I'm thinking I want this almost like a like a for them to for my photo to kind of sit on here like a little shelf I want to bring that in underneath of here and I think I want to bring it in I want to be able to see it under my photo um like maybe about at the two inches let's do two inches yeah and I will either do a banner here or um, just kind of um, cut that a little bit at an angle. So I'm thinking I want to bring this to three-fourths of an inch. That way there I have three-fourths all the way around. So I like that. I like how this ties all the colors together. I'm also going to bring in um, this tag from the Tags and Tabs, and it is still available. And I didn't need the whole thing, so I just cut out part of it. And I cut out uh, two of each of those, so it's just the back and the front. Um, I'm just going to use this for embellishment, so I'm I didn't I didn't need the whole tag, and I don't want to waste that paper. So I would like to bring in a couple of those um, coming out from behind this photo, and I am going to cover that, so don't worry. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I just kind of want to bring these in like this. Perfect. And I'm not sure if I want to bring these in on the side here because I kind of want to create like a journaling thing or I want to bring them in up top here. So I'm just going to lay them up top for right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to second generation this, okay? So I'm going to stamp it on a piece of white cardstock that I'm gonna cut out. But I want to second generation where I stamp it up here for this one anyways. So I am gonna bring in a piece of white daisy cardstock and I'm gonna stamp that and this I will fussy cut out. So I'm just gonna stamp that, hold that real good, okay? And then I want to bring that in over here, but I want to kind of hide this butterfly. So I am going to just kind of hold this, move this, and stamp. I did go ahead and flip both my mats over so you know. Okay. So I did go ahead and put those words from the setting the scene on a block and I went ahead and seasoned it already. And before I go ahead and stamp that, I did fussy cut out the one when I um, off, when I second generationed it. And I'm thinking that I want that over here. And I'm thinking I kind of want that kind of coming out from here um, a little bit. Um, but I did also, I fussy cut out uh, several more of those butterflies and I thought that I could stick those on the layout as well. Um, and I also went ahead and I stamped this in the mist ink and I fussy cut those out, but I wanna do some distressing on those as well. So I think that's what I'll do is bring in a little bit of ink and we'll um, do a little bit of distressing. But I do want to go ahead and 
um, like stamp some of these and figure out where I want to stamp them. I think I want to put a journaling strip right about here. Um, but I would like, you know, some of these words coming out. So I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and um, we'll ink up the mocha. Since my mat is still uh, turned around. So I'm thinking that I want this kind of coming out here. Okay. And then um, I'm thinking maybe like right over that. So, um, you know, maybe out like this. Perfect. And then I'm definitely going to do it another time, a third time. So each time I stamp, I'm off stamping onto a scratch piece of paper. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this about this length. All right. I like that. That looks really sharp. And then um, I'm kind of thinking like maybe in here a little bit. That might look good. So I'm going to off stamp that and then I want to lift this and kind of move this like about so. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in over here and I'm going to try to put some right about there. So I'm going to bring this in just a little bit further. Okay, I'm going to bring in my micro tip scissors and I'm just going to dovetail this and see what I think. And I have extra on here, so if I don't like the way that looks, no big deal. I can just cut it off and then do it straight. So I, I'm literally just about cutting up about a half of an inch and then um, cutting to that. So yeah, I like that. All right, I'm just bringing in an ink blending tool and I'm gonna bring my mocha ink back in and I'm gonna do a little bit of ink distressing. I think that it's gonna draw it in and that's kind of the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna do this and show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm literally just gonna do some ink, inking around the edges of that, okay? And I will show you the difference that it makes. Trust me, it makes a huge difference, even on this brown piece. So let me get this piece done and then I'll show you. Okay, so that is going to actually pop off the page and especially when I do the rest of these it'll really make it stand up and I think that's going to look a lot uh, like a little more finished so I'm going to go ahead and um, get those pieces all inked up around the edges and we'll come back and then I'll bring in the mist ink and a blending brush and we will go ahead and um, do some, some kind of distressing. Okay. I'm going to bring in a blending brush in my mist ink, and I'm just going to try to give those some distressing kind of like in the, the stickers that we saw. And I'm not going to cover them completely. And I might even have to bring in my, like the blending tool to do the edges to get them a little bit darker. We'll see how this comes out. I'm already really liking how that's coming out. So just go around there and continue to do this. I'm definitely going to put some ink on that title, kind of dress that title up a little bit more. It's, it's pretty big and it's a lot of white, so it needs, um, I need to draw it in and um, kind of decorate it a little bit. So this is coming out great. So I'm really liking that. So look at that. It's coming out really cool. Um, 
I, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and do so and hit that like button that tells YouTube that you enjoy these kind of uh, videos and they'll continue to share them. And I appreciate it. Thank you. So I think I like this. Um, it was pretty white before. So if I have, if I, if I want to, I can go back and re-stamp it on this side if I don't like how it's coming out. But I think I want to take the brown ink around the edge. So I'm going to bring that mocha back in and um, a blending tool. And I'm just going to distress around the edge of that too just like I did with the papers. And yeah, I'm liking how that's coming out. So I'm bringing in the Fancy Stitch Brackets and these are still available on my website as of today. And I went ahead and cut one out in white cardstock and I am gonna bring in this stamp. I wanna bring this in and I'm gonna second generation it again. So I'm gonna stamp it off on another piece of paper and then stamp it in the mist cause I want it real subtle in the background. And then I'm gonna bring in my um, sepia le pen, my journaling pen, and I am gonna bring in my ruler and I am gonna put some journaling lines on that and create a journaling card. And I probably will go ahead and um, distress the outside of that with the um, mocha. Okay, I got that card done and I really like how that came out. And I was thinking that there's this flower right here and how cute would that be right at the center right there? I'm not gonna put it on yet, but it's an idea. So I'm thinking that I wanna put this like in here and I want to maybe put it underneath of here so I went ahead and just laid those there and then I did put that brown cardstock the mocha cardstock and that's the dark side of mocha um, behind this circle and I'm not sure I'm going to keep it yet I did go ahead and I did another one and what I did was I just literally took my um, mist ink and just sponged right in the middle and then distressed around there and I still have that uh, centerpiece that I could put on top of that and I'm not sure I might like it a little bit more white but I was thinking I know what it's missing so I'm going to add a little bit of the writing on here as well onto both of these and then I'll decide which one I want um, but I want to put this here and I'm thinking that I'm thinking that I want to second generation. I think I want another one of these like right here. And then I think I want one just, I want to see just a barely, just barely any of it coming out from right here. So I'm going to do that second generation. And I'm just going to stamp that. And then I'm going to try to carefully move this. And I just want it to come out like that. So we'll go ahead and slide this out. And then I will put this right here. Okay. I'm going to move this out here and just hold that down okay so actually I forgot to second generation that and I really like it where it has the 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 second generation and the not second generation the regular stamp so I think what I'm gonna try to do <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to stamp this and be real careful and get it like exactly on there. Okay, so it's a little bit, I got it a little bit off, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna be tucking stuff and you're not really even gonna see it. Um, but I do want to go ahead and do both of these and see which one I like better. So I'm gonna bring the, that words back in and I will make sure I second generation those. Okay, so let's... Oh, that's pretty cool. 
All right, that was like, that was like exactly what this was missing. So I like that. All right, let's see which one of these we like. So that's pretty cool. So let's try this one. All right. I like it better with the mist behind it instead of that. Gives it a softer effect. So I like it better, and there's a lot of um, mocha going on in here. So I like it better with the, like this, with the mist. And then I am going to, um, I wanna bring those butterflies in. So I also second generationed that same wording that we I used here, I put it up here and I put it here underneath um, this piece of paper. And um, I just kind of put this together and stamped right there so I could get it on both sides. Um, and then I, I did put the inking around the edges and you could of course made that like a lot more pronounced and um, came up more on your page and that would have looked beautiful. You could have even inked a little bit more smudged around there. That would have been, that would look really nice, but I want to leave it like that. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of coloring on here. I did go ahead and stamp that flower that I said I wanted to stamp. I stamped that as well. And it's just right here. And um, I, I'm i going to add another flower. I want to add this. It's uh, pretty posies. I want to add a couple of, of these flowers. And I think maybe this one and you can use whatever flowers you have but I also am going to stamp this uh hey friend I love these words I love this love you and I wanted to cover um Caleb's head right there and um I thought that that would be really cute and then I'm kind of bringing like that circle over there so I'm just going to bring in my mat and I did color two of those flowers and I'm going to show you how I did that put it here where there's not ink so I have that and I literally just um, brought in that mist ink so I brought in some mist and I brought in that um, the sponge these are like I love these sponges they're my favorite and I literally just took it in the middle and just added just a little bit of color right there in the middle and I really like that so I thought that was really pretty so I'm still keeping it pretty white but just adding that in the center okay so that looks pretty good do a little bit more Perfect. And then I want to bring in that um, circle. I just cut a circle and I'm going to bring in that um, love you. And I think I'm going to bring in the mocha and try. Let's actually, let's do that first. I'm going to bring in another sponge and or another blending brush. And I'm going to bring in my mocha ink and I'm going to add a little bit of coloring like we did like here, I'm gonna add a little bit of that right in the center here. Well, that's a little bit too much. So you always flip it over if you don't like the way that looks. Okay, so do that. And I might actually add that word stamp 
So I'll grab that. The second generation that just, since I did that on the other one and I really liked the way that looked, I think I'll do that as well. So I will second generation this. Let's, let's move it in here. This kind of ties everything in. And we'll go ahead and we'll do right here. Cool. All right. And then I will go ahead and stamp that in the mist ink. Let's check it. I'm going to move this off of that. So I can see the whole thing. So I cut this and I know it went off a little bit, but that's the size I wanted it. And I thought that would be okay because I'm going to distress that. That is so cute. So now I just, I'm also going to grab some ink and I just kind of want to like, I'm just going to kind of wash just a tiny bit of this over here. I don't want a lot of that, but I just want to add a little and just give these butterflies just a little bit more color. And I'm not going to even do the whole thing, just a little. I'm not even going to do this whole thing. I just want to add a little. Perfect. So I put those tags down and just brought in some white twine and then tucked one of those um, brown flowers, the mocha flowers behind the um, frame here and uh, my photo and then just kind of put another butterfly up there. So I'm going to do one more thing. I want, I'm, I'm, I brought in my all-purpose mat and I also put that flower there and went ahead and attached that. I want to bring in my mist shimmer brush. I love these shimmer brushes. So I'm just, I, I'm literally going to mask this off because I just want to add a tiny bit right here. And it's just going to be just a little bit of sparkle and color. Perfect. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit here. And I'm tapping lightly because I don't, I don't want a ton. Um, usually I like a lot of this stuff, but I just want a little, I like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit more right here. Perfect. I love the way that came out. I love all the detail in that stamping and you can do so much with just stamps. So I'm going to give you a closer look there. And I, I like the little detail of adding the um, that background stamp there on those two little um, cent, uh, title pieces we made. So I thought that was that came out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you are looking for more inspiration, check out my next video. Thank you so much.